Hello and welcome back to the Shape Shifting Detective. We are making a little bit of progress in our investigation. Found out more about Zach, Violet, Oscar, and also met a creepy child in the hallway. What else would we want in our investigation, right? But now I think it's time to jump to the next chapter and see where everything leads. So welcome to Pose. It's 8 o'clock and time for another August update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Miss Shaw's strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night in what the chief is calling a puzzling crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? But that poor boy. A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket. Or a cab. Or wear the jacket in the cab. That's 8 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Sam, oh. um, I've got news. Uh, we've done a reading. The Five of Swords. That's the same card as yesterday. That's not good. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. Out of once. This doesn't look good. It's fine. It's this fine. happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of putting all three again? One in 474,552. Thank you, nerd. Oh, I get asked a lot. Bet the Ten of Swords. happening again. Well, there's going to be another murder. Then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Munro. Oh. From the radio. Uh, what? Sam, let me bring you up to speed. I, I know what you're going to say, and I don't want to hear it. I've arrested Bronwyn. She's named a second victim, and as far as I'm concerned, the safest thing to do right now is have her behind bars. Those tarot readers have been doing my head in all day, talking to me like I'm a suspect, asking ridiculous questions, and then denying they've seen me at all. So what's done is done. If anything, I've just made Alice safer. You can go. It's Feng Shui. God. <laughs> I don't think that is good. Oh, wow. Um, That's what can happen. That we kind of <laughs> brought them in that position. I think I'd quite like to have a guard against evil. Okay. I think we should go to Alice directly. Let's waste no time. You must be Sam. I just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. Curse Dorota? Now me. She is a redhead. So, did you know Dorota? Yes. We were... friends. I hadn't known her for long. Only a few weeks. How did you meet? We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing cello you know i guess we talked for a little while and then she asked me for a drink after the show and what happened after the show after we'd had a few drinks she invited me back to her house i thought we were just gonna chat watch a movie that sort of thing then she kissed me mm. i was so shocked she was so attractive so 
I kissed her back. Okay. So, were you in a relationship, or...? This is just between us, right? Of course. We fooled around. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. Okay. So, no friends. Poe and Dorota, people I say hi to, I have thousands of followers and subscribers, and they keep me feeling warm when I'm down, but they're not friends. I do get the odd stalker, but that isn't something anyone wants. True. So, did you know that she had a boyfriend? Oscar, yeah. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't... She didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind. But she did. So I told her if he wanted to get sexual, then maybe she should try something else. Something else? I said some guys like to watch. So tell him it would be sexy if he could look, but he couldn't um, touch. As far as I know, it worked. So that was behind that we heard uh, Oscar talk about, but it was actually because she didn't like his touch anymore. We don't know why yet. Um, interesting. How did it work? She told Oscar to watch from her walk-in wardrobe. When he was at a safe distance, she put on a show. She faked it. That's not. Uh, did Oscar know about you? I don't think so. We were very discreet. It was more fun that way. I see. Tell me about Poe. We're co-hosts. On the radio. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know that already. Um, we've been That's partners fine. for two years now. He's a good friend. Partners or friends? Can't we be both, Sam? Poe's his radio name. He's actually John Poe. He's on air now, but you can come back at 8.30 if you want to see him. Okay, that's good to know. Where were you last night? On air. We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Do you know Zach Weston? Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe to promote the show. Mm hmm. Have you had any private sessions with him? No. Zach keeps asking, but I just don't want to. Not for him, but Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. She looked amazing. Okay. Any idea who might want to hurt you? No. Sorry. I did have a strange dream last night, though. I was a Hollywood actress, and there were hundreds of magazines and newspapers all piling up on the red carpet, and they all had my picture on the front cover. But the red carpet wasn't carpet. It was a pool of blood, and it seeped through all the pages. Then I woke up. Interesting. What do you think that means, Sam? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I would probably be anxious about something. I don't know what. I mean, I'm anxious now. Maybe, maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. Maybe. Or mine. Yeah, if, if the whole spirit world thing... It's true. I'd be. What would you like me? To? I will protect you. Let's try to comfort her. That sounds reassuring. Thanks. I hope it's not just words, Sam. 
you've kind of just asked about Dorota since you got here. Oh. Oh, don't do that. It's not your phone. Don't do that, lady. Don't you ever do that again. You never do that again. Pain no more. Don't do that again, no ever. More. Never do that again. Of course, there was more. Arrest her. Tilsdale Let's go to the chief well. and tell her to arrest She'd her. She'd only gotten sick, was <laughs> taken to the hospital before the pills tore apart her liver. The doctors, the ones who... Let's talk to Oscar. He's not there. Or tried at least. What about Zach? Do you know Alice Monroe? Monroe. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. Do you have photos of her? I always get the shot, Sam. One way or another. What is that supposed to mean? Porcelain and he relished in it. The pain let Ugh, go. I don't like that guy. Finally, and that fed him too. She was dead. The demon had outgrown his host, gotten too big. For oh no, it's a no, it's the child. It's the child. Excellent work. Gold star for you. Who's that child? Oh, hello. This is my goddaughter, Sophia. Burn her. She's only nine, and she's a maths genius. Hello. <laughs> that means she's not I to be trusted. I have to my room to get something. Be nice to her while I'm gone. Otherwise, I might have to smother you in your sleep. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? It's Sam. Um... I'm Sophia. Pleased to meet you. Do you want to know a secret? Sure. Violet was taken by aliens in their ship. Oh. She doesn't want anyone to know. Sorry about that. Sophia, your mother will be here for you soon, so run along and wait. <laughs> now, Sam, how can I help you? Um, what about the creepy child? If you imagine aliens. She has a wicked imagination for her age. Mm hmm <sighs> Is that why you're taking your pills? I was seeing and hearing things that weren't there. That's why I'm taking pills. Okay. Have you told anyone about this? I needed to confide in someone, so I told Chief Dupont. Just Chief Dupont. And now you, apparently. Appreciate it. Do you think you were abducted last night? Why are you talking about this again? You understand, every time you mention abduction, it opens up a vault of crushing memories that I'd rather stay locked up. Did anyone else see you last night? No. Not even the moon. No, I don't think I will do it. Uh, do you know Alice Monroe? Of course. Poe and Monroe. She's on the radio. <laughs> sure is. Have you met her? Yes. I believe I did. She was here once for something. I don't remember now. Oh. That's interesting. Stones. I will hold off on asking that question. Relentless waves oh, no. eroding the people on shore. How could you let Chief Dupont do that? I'm not talking to you until you get this fixed. Bronwyn was on tarotasm, Sam. Just like she was an hour ago. And they record everything, so her alibi should be without question. She was just lying to protect Lexi. She's maternal like that. Yeah. Just okay. an audience. Maybe I can oh. resolve that. I don't oh think that's responsible. Oh my god, Sam, what are we going to do? She can't for just that. lock Ron up like that, can he? You know she's innocent. <sighs> we'll talk. Curiosity shop. All right, so what have we here today? Let's talk. I... Sam, do me a favor. Go easy on Violet. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. She'll open up to me.
Yeah, you can't just lock uh, people up because they're suspicious. Why? Bronwyn's innocent. She was uh, locked into Tarotasm, remember? Well, then I've made a mistake. Whoops! A few hours in the cell works magic on most people, even tarot readers. Look, I see you're starting to care for these people already, but Violet's been watching them like a hawk. If you can convince her, you convince me. She's been talking about aliens. What do you know about it? Maybe it's why she's taking the pill. It's probably a bit more nuanced than that, but maybe. To you, um, it's actually it's mm. more about what you can do, what you think you might do with the mirror. <sighs> I'm honest. At okay. first, because of the handle, I thought maybe. Um, I what's with Violet now? Okay. Do you still think that the tower readers killed Dorota? What do you know? Just have a gut feeling. I'm not sure that changes my mind. We're talking about a possible murderer, Sam. Fair enough. But uh, she was innocent. She was locked into tarotasm. And you're sure it was her? What do you mean by that? Yeah, her voice is recorded. Then it couldn't be her, could it? You want me to tell Claude, don't you? Yeah. Sorry, I mean Chief Dupont. Fine, fine, I'll call him. Thank you. She's gone, listeners. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> no, she hasn't. We're only joking. Let's still go here. back to She's Dupont. Still, yeah, I can't do this show without her. About falsely imprisoning people. Fine. Let me do the paperwork. I'm starting to regret hiring you. Maybe you should concentrate on something else. I'm concentrating on solving the case. You have I not been very helpful so far, to be Monroe. quite honest. The calling. Because I Red get spooked by, by radio Jessica. people and creepy children here while Jessica. you sit on your desk. Hey, Bronwyn. So, you, what do you know about Alice Monroe? I've heard on the radio, but other than that, I don't know anything about her. I want to help, though. What's the connection between Alice and Dorota? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Although we can be sure of one thing. They're both redheads. Yeah, she sounded blonde on the radio, but Mercury called her as a redhead. So Rain uh, said you knew about rights. Talk to him, hear more about a that. A little bit. What did you want to know? What is a right? A right can take many forms, but from what we know about these travelers, it seems to be performing some kind of coming of age ceremony. Coming of age. Yes. A rite of passage. A running havoc in our dimension is rewarded in theirs. Not fair, is it? No. Why were there three victims before? Three is a powerful number. There's a divine balance to it in our universe anyway. But maybe it doesn't mean anything where the traveler's from. Maybe three is just the carry-on limit for interdimensional travel. Hmm. So Dorota had a coin in her mouth. Does that mean anything? Was it a gold coin? Yes. Mm. That's more of a serial killer thing than a possessed by a traveler thing. It's a bit showy, but well, there's no guarantees. Mm. We were not supposed to mention that, but I feel like she isn't responsible for it, but... That's interesting. So maybe we were not dealing with an interdimensional traveler. After all, do you know Zach Lorestan? No. I can do a reading if you... Sure. Why not? Nine of Cups. This is a very positive card. How so? 
Is Zach a suspect? Something feels wrong. He's too smug, too self-congratulating, like he's got away with something. I don't like this, Sam. I don't like this one bit at all. Hmm. Well, I need your help. Yes, of course. Anything. Uh, try to find out more. I've already been break. doing that, but sure, I'll keep at it. Maybe it'll feel sorry for me and finally put out. I don't there want her to keep an eye on reality, Violet because I don't know if that causes more issues in than the it wild. helps. Hey, I got her, got Bronwyn back. Do you know Alice Monroe? Yes, I met her at the radio station. How were you at the station? I was offering my services. Earning a living is tricky when you travel around as much as we do. And last time I checked, Violet wasn't offering us room and board for free. So tell me more about Birmingham. In Birmingham, it was a man called Yuri Harris. He worked as a butcher. He beheaded all three girls within hours of each other. We couldn't stop it. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. Yeah, what made you think that Yuri was a traveler? Because he said he'd see us again. In August. Before we even knew it was a month and a place. Oh. What I can That's see here are three small metal bells. So what's the news about Ellis? I feel so useless sitting here. I want to help. Well, you, if you stop lying, that would help. Yes, please use me. Tell me what to do. The Ouija board. Ooh. I don't know if that is a good idea. It might put her in danger. But that would actually be helpful, to be honest. Well, then, the Luigi board. And he might actually open up to her because he thinks he's that womanizer guy, so... But I'm not sure if it's good to send her because she seems a little bit naive or at least plays naive. Ah, let's send her. Who's that? He's a photographer. He's great. Is he a suspect? I guess he must be. Okay, I'm on the case. Just give me a minute to get ready and I'll be off. Uh, I don't know if that was the right, right call here, but today. we'll see. We'll and see how it goes. What could go wrong? Curiosity shop is now. Um. Hey. You're only alive because we want you to be. It's supposed to mean. Oh, well, now we can like do the big switcheroo. Mm, before I switch, I, I wanted to talk to Alice again. Is that it has three, three Let's circles all. Okay, nothing. And it's made of. Okay. I think metal. Mm -hmm. I think it's metal. Mm -hmm. We had the same metal in one of our earlier shows. Do you remember? Okay. It's the same material. You have to be careful with without oh. changing. Oh, I'm not sure it if must I'm. Be Correct. Wait, because on one hand I obviously want to find out more, but on the other hand I don't want to be too suspicious. Hi, I. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. I guess that's the point. balance that we have to find. Time, but why might people wear this? I want to talk to Violet. Lord. Oh, nothing mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, it's a theme that we've visited before in what an hour show. Chief Dupont, thanks for calling in. I'm just checking you're safe. At the moment, my heart's beating a thousand times a minute and I can't sit still. Every noise or knock on the door makes me jump out of my skin and I keep looking behind me. 
Is that safe? I don't know. I a... What's really worrying you? Yeah. That you're just saying you're doing things when you're not actually doing anything. What's the plan, Chief Dupont? How do we stop this from happening? How do we stop me from dying? Good question. Out of Jimmy's upside down Toyota, clutching his spare magazine. Hmm, I think. Anything else here? No. Just nine. Eight for Oscar. Chief, I wanted to ask you something. Okay. Uh, is it about the boudoir photos? Yeah. So it's true then. I haven't seen them. I'm sorry. I'm just in shock. All the time. How, how could she be so different? I just can't process it all. What did you want to ask? Am I still a sus- Yes. Okay. Good. Listen, I think I might get out of this place soon. I need some space. He is very suspicious. I may have time to I just take told him that he may lower his guard a little bit. Me. She's fast. Too fast for Jimmy to hit. She tore straight through his gut. So let's. Mm. Let's be Bronwyn again. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm. Bronwyn. They will have some such bullshit. Sent down to the vault for further. Thank you for helping with the chief. I'm not a monster, Bronwyn. I believe in justice too. Do you believe Tara can predict things now? I'm not one for mystics and crystal balls. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> it says you're lying about your alibi. Uh, it says you're lying about your alibi. Well, I suppose it has a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Fair enough. It's drawing even closer. My first shot goes wide. But it's enough to send her sprinting directly for me. The second. Nothing with the rain. The third misses. She vaults from the puddle at the base of the ramp. Her hospital gown smothered in blood. Bron, what are we going to do about Alice? I don't know. What would you do about Alice? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Let's think. What have we tried before? A few times we've caught up with the Traveller. Nothing's worked. Okay. Restrain. Talking to them. Restraining them. Talking to them. Please don't kill that person. Okay, thanks. Oh no, look, you killed them anyway. You know that doesn't work, Ron. Hmm. All that's left is my sobbing. And Might be worth a try. <laughs> um... Until Emma slowly rises. Dream. He's gone now. With Poe and Monroe. So Simeon's written in to say... Don't scare me like that. Own tower, and it just keeps going up and up and up. Mm. And I always wake up before I reach the top. What do you think, Poe? What else would make sense? Let's see what we can do with Alice. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm Alice. They're very ambitious. They might be a little overambitious. She's gone. I can in fact tell you that a tower does in fact symbolize a quest for understanding. Understand. She's also gone. Achieving your goals. Oh, so he is achieving his goals. So I'm not sure if so they're gone. That just means it doesn't here, happen. Um, um, so we can you, freely check out the different locations, or if we should also hold off of it. from um, checking out certain your... locations. Quite, what a here. It's actually quite a common thing to suffer from. But what I can say to you... He's not there either. It's very important. 
right. to you, then please just embrace them. Embrace them and keep moving forward and keep striving for the best. Thank you for your dreams. Welcome to Poe's Curio. Let's see. Have we been valid? Let's try that again. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Perhaps a uh, wa walking cross, maybe? What was, the, what was the object used for? Not there. To hang, a, hang something on? Like... Also not there. It's, um, it's, it's, it's got the house, kind of the householder. I honestly... I, I, I doubt you've ever used one of those. You've never used a mango. A mango? Yeah. For clothing? Yeah. It's... Uh... Alice is not there. Hello, lovely. Take a look at this. Okay. It's a picture of the rotor. I don't want to see pictures of your conquests. Yeah, why is he showing us? It's not like that. It's just a press photo. Do you see anything in it? He also asked us that. What do you see? A girl holding a cello. You don't see any movement. Just a rotor. Movement? That is interesting. We saw on the cutscene that the rotor was moving. Whatever that Can means. Okay, interesting. Read by Adam Day. Okay, back to the guest house. The demon really did spread like a virus. Interesting. Easier, probably. A virus. Um. Okay. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Okay. Rounding this demon, this ghost. I really like the mechanic of switching so much ritual, into these different characters. So much awful curio. Who is Sophia? You saw her, did you? She's my goddaughter, at that age where she overshares. <laughs> mm hmm. Is she a ghost? Is she a ghost? Sure, that asked. What that. makes you say that, Rain? Is there something about her aura? I don't know. She it took she's time creepy. for her fall. <laughs> the demon creepy knew. What is it, Rain? I have a plan. You do? Enlighten me. Maybe Ellis should stay with us. With our track record. If she gets killed anywhere near us, we'll be sent to jail, whether we did it or not. That's cold. I'm just being practical. Ellis's fate is in our hands. Ours isn't. The young, susceptible, <sighs> high-risk groups already have a... Maxine. Hi, Rain. Did you miss me while I was gone? So... Ellis Munro. I'm honestly not going to try and worry about this one. We've told Sam, and I think that's all we can do. Really? Well, what's Sam going to do? I believe Sam is going to save Ellis. According to the Ouija, this could play out in a lot of different ways, but mostly saving Ellis. That's good. What Our chances ways? are good. Ellis could run. Ellis could die, Ellis could be saved, mistaken identity, someone else dies. There's a lot of noise coming from the beyond, but it's not just a load of voices saying Ellis will die. Sam's got this. Okay. She night. has more confidence in us than I have. It. There was nothing left. Mm. Now it was just a wait. Oscar's not there. Lonely, nearly. Zach. After Alice. Haven't you done enough predicting my death? Oh, I'm sorry. 
It's okay. I'm just kidding. I know it's not your fault. Well, unless you're the killer. Surprise. Have you made a decision about the show? I think it's a no. Sorry. It's just the reading that you gave me the other day. I don't want to scare off the audience. Hmm. Why would I scare off your listeners? They don't want to hear talk of death and darkness. Well, they do, if it's in a story. But you can't tell them they're going to die. I said you were going to die? You didn't say you're going to die, just like that. But I remember the death card. And the devil. And you said it was... What was the word you used? My challenge. That... I needed to die so I could be free from my chains. I know you said it doesn't mean literal death, but maybe it does. That is very interesting. I I'm, a, I'm a little bit suspicious of red rain. hair fanned out around her so, pillow as she laid back. Of, of the tarot the readers, I think I note on the pillow, trust him but... the least. Um, let's see what Lexi can find out. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh. I'm Lexi. If anything. Sleep and it'll be over. What's it matter anyway? Yeah. Nothing? Nothing here. It'll be over. No longer a burden. No more. Lexi Corn, how thin are these walls? What do you mean the walls are thin? I can hear you screaming at your Ouija board. Last night too. I feel like I've heard your whole life story. What did you hear? Does Sam like me? Is Violet a lesbian? Will Ellis <laughs> die? Will Brom win die? That last one, don't worry about that. Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna stick around until you're sick of the sight of me, all right? I'm not in any danger. Ellis is in danger. Sam's in danger. Sam is. Spread. Interesting. The blood stained the porcelain and he relished in it. So we are in danger go. according to Fine. her too. Our job is so stressful. Very stressful. Tell me about it. Chasing around the unknown. Trying to triumph good over evil. Generally standing around helpless watching people die. Why do we do it? For me, it's a common decency thing. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Did you know the Earth was overrun by transdimensional evil? Want to help fix it? <laughs> sure. Transdimensional evil? I'll read the manual, Lex. People are afraid of ghosts, zombies, and aliens. They never even think to consider the possibility that there are millions of universes, potentially with millions of predators, all far more evolved than we are. What are our chances of victory? Minuscule. That's a fair point. But if we don't fight at all, zero. Okay. He was a football player. Big, loud, oh, and oh, sure. Oh. Good. He wouldn't take long. The demon knew it. <laughs> Alice isn't there. Demons are already there. They Sorry, we're closed. Unless you're here for something else. I'm a friend of Dorota's. Dorota? Sorry about what happened. Dorota told me things about you. Can I come in? Uh, it's a bit late, but I think I could spare a few minutes. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Lexi, I like it. It's got an edge. He's so slimy. You're dating Violet, aren't you? Dorota says she knew you. Yeah, she had a portrait session with me. Can I get you a drink? No, thanks. Sure. No. I, I said no thanks, right? Was that Crystal Skull, Dan Aykroyd? 
Is it from Tech? Yeah, I think it's Dan Aykroyd, Crystal Skull Vodka. A little bit won't hurt. You're dating Violet, aren't you? No, we're just friends. That's not what you told Sam. That's not what Violet thinks. That's not what you told Sam. Sam? Who are you? Are you working with the police too? I'm helping. Ugh. Don't worry, I'm not with the police. Don't worry, I'm not with the police. I'm not worried. I just don't like being lied to. I know what you did to Dorota. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. You know, you're quite striking. It's a shame Dorota's not here. We could have taken some great shots of you two together. Would you like me to photograph you, Lexi? No. No. Well... Not now, obviously. But we should book a session sometime. I think you'd like it. I'd make you feel good about yourself. Black darkness outside of that was a good window. idea. It felt unnatural to be here in this place, so far away from home. With some regret, I mean, maybe? he thought back I don't to the know. day he volunteered for a top secret project. I don't know what to do. I feel like with everything that I do, I just doom everyone. So. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Let's do another Oscar round. Dr. Dimitri Sheffield, an expert in the field of archaeology, I don't have the option yet to continue to the next chapter, which is a little bit concerning. Combined with the moon's low gravity, a lack of sunlight, problem isn't there, and the project's mounting work pressure had gone so far to affect his physical appearance. Mm -hmm. He had even started to. Oh no. Let's go through the things with Sam again. Being. But the work kept him going. It had to. I don't know if we should ask that. Maybe I have to though. Rob, we much don't, less be a part if we're of. not able to continue. When I'll he ask that, but I would like to hold off on that. Unbearable. But that initial spark of enthusiasm. Yeah, you did a reading with Alice Munro? Yeah. She asked for a sample reading to show what I could do. <laughs> mm. Did your reading predict any danger? It's easy to see now with the benefit of hindsight. Three of Swords, the Devil, Death. I mean, any tarot reader will tell you that death hardly ever means real physical death. But given what we've learned, Fair enough. And exobiology, respectively. Dimitri mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Dark circles under their eyes. It seemed the moon had taken its toll on Earth's best and brightest. As they wait... Okay. Something new here. ...which centred around their latest... ...to go on for several kilometres. Oscar has gone. His edges That's were most unusual. Indeed, it was clear yes, that this okay, hole was not a natural formation. Bluffing. But neither could good it have been man-made. The hole was drilled or other. After she told us that brings up a lot of bad memories. I don't really want to. About a month ago. The guest house was empty and I was alone in my bedroom. All I could hear was dripping. Cold tap. Drip. 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 And then it began. I could smell iron, a strong metallic smell. Then I could taste it on my tongue. And then weightlessness. Like time and space had stopped. That was the first time they took me. 
the first time, so there were multiple times. It's happened five times, even on Clozapine. Get that strange aura, then I'm gone. I tests for epilepsy, amongst other things. But all the scans were normal. So, yeah, like, what about the memory? Because, like, did that happen la the night before as well? No. Mm -hmm. I have certain flashbacks. I would really need details. It's difficult to explain. I'm stuck in the wall of an enormous room made from these wooden vines, except the vines slowly move and drip with pain. My head is pushed out like I'm a trophy. If I look to my side, there are others, heads, all prisoners, being experimented on. Time. What kind of experiment? They rearrange us like decorations. Suck us backwards into the darkness and then thrust us back through the wall. And when they return me home, I'm broken. Cuts. Bruises. Memories. That's not good. Dr. Sheffield, do you read me? Dimitri was startled by the sudden voice. It's nine o'clock oh, and okay. you're listening to Radio August. Investigations into the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw are continuing this evening. Miss Shaw was found dead in her home at approximately 10 p.m. last night in what police are describing as a puzzling case. Residents are urged to be cautious until the perpetrator is caught. I cannot stress this enough, August. Stay safe out there. You mean the world to me. In other news, Monroe has been detained on urgent business, so you're stuck with me until she returns. Never fear, Monroe fans. We still have lots of pre-recordings, so you can relax with her angelic tones. That's nine o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Well, we will After move to the next chapter soon, but I think we will take a break here. Hope that Alice is okay. Um, this is getting more and more mysterious, I guess. I don't know what to make of it. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and theories are if you haven't played the game before. Um, I hope that we can save her and potential other victims thank you all for uh joining me for today's episode if you liked it please give the video a like maybe consider subscribing to the channel share the video with friends family and the people on the internet that all helps me out a whole bunch and will bring you more content in the future if you want to go above and beyond in your support, you can check out my Patreon link down below. And I will be back with more The Shapeshifting Detective tomorrow. Until then, have a great time.